Hey guys, uh, this is Abe Foy here from FreeGorner.how. I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on the new algorithm that we have for the Kershek and Kershek, uh C algorithm. Um, so uh, we worked with some uh, some developers to be able to, uh, along with ourselves of course, uh, to be able to build um, uh, this, this new algorithm uh, for the KCU1500 or the TULKU115 uh, uh, FPGA. Uh, it's a uh, vertex ultrascale board uh, that's PCI. Uh, it's it's a really really great little board. Um, it's it's uh, it's pretty amazing. So we uh, uh, are going to do some demos here in just a minute um, and kind of get it going. So I just wanted to say uh, thanks so much for uh, giving us the time uh, to be able to. Uh, get this going. It's been nearly about eight months, and you guys have been uh, begging for some some updates. And uh, we made some headway a couple months ago, and we were kind of like, well, you know, it's not quite as fast as we want, but we at least just wanted to show you that we're working towards something, and we wanted to give you it. So, uh, so can't can't beat that, right? So, um, there. Uh, we're going to do a demo here in just a second. So uh, what I have open right now is Viviato. Uh, this is uh, the, the software that you use to either load the bit streams if you're using the lab edition or uh, the full blown package if you're doing the design and the whole thing there. So um, I've loaded the bit stream on here and uh, done a reboot, which is required to be able to get this working. And uh, I've opened up all I did was just open up the hardware manager, and then I uh, went to Sysmon and wrote it up uh, the temperature so I could read the board. Uh, currently, this has 10 cores of the, of the algorithm uh, built onto the FPGA, and uh, we can uh, designate that inside of our mining software. So in the mining software, we have the uh, CC miner application right there uh, for the algorithm. And then we have the cores, which is a super simple text file. You just, if you wanted to run one core, you just delete it, hit save. And if you want to run five cores, you put five, and, and then you're good there. Um, uh, we're actually going to run 10 cores, uh, run the full thing, and uh, there we go. So um, when this uh, core is, right, uh, is going up, uh, you're going to see that it's actually going to get pretty darn hot here in just a minute. So uh, we're going to just run the run the miner to be able to start the pool, and you can see it connects to uh, connects to the car right there. Uh, because this is using PCI serial uh, connection, we actually had to build a new um, uh, CC miner application uh, just to be able to. Honestly, take out all the plate. Like this <laughs> CC miner connects to everything under the sun, and so this is um, a way to be able to just uh, clean it up so that you're only getting the things that you need. You don't have to sweat a bunch of stuff. Um, so there are no license files or anything uh, like I've seen on some of the other um, uh, BCU and BCU 1525. Um, uh, minor applications that are coming out, uh, but there is a 5% dev fee with uh, with the application um, because we've been working with uh, you know designers and trying to put in our time and everything. And it's taken well eight months and thousands of hours worth of work to be able to get something going. Uh, we are hoping that as you know, generally how it works is the first one takes a long time, and then after that you can kind of. Uh, copy and paste some of the snippet of the code. So we're open to be able to roll out other ones that won't um, uh, be quite as much, but uh, you know, we just want build build to build a community here. Um, so um, we originally were doing this on our dev boards um, uh, to start out, if you guys are curious. So we're using the Terrasic um, uh, DU, uh, what is, I'm sorry. Uh, DE1 SOC, and then we used the DE10 uh, board that we had on there. Um, and then I have a couple of Xilinx uh, demonstration boards, uh, uh, or dev demonstration, uh, dev boards that we're using to, uh, that I'm having a hard time posting the name, the name of them, but uh, they're, they're all fairly similar. So then um, uh, we, we contacted, uh, uh, TUL contacted us and saw that we were doing some good work. And so we worked out something to be able to um, uh, demo the, uh, 
uh, this new KU115 board, and it's just great. It's it's a really, really nice board. I think you guys would uh, enjoy it. It's a lot less than the VCU 1525 or the VCU. Uh, it, it's about half the power and half the memory of that, and so you'll probably get about half the performance uh, of what it is doing also uh, out of the card, but it's also under half of the price, and it's available now, which is great. So those are really good things. Um, uh, if you have the money to get the bigger card, go for it. I'm just trying to provide some uh, other options to uh, so that people can get in the door at a lower price point. And uh, Richard uh, uh, Lowe from uh, from TUL uh, has created some uh, uh, some better pricing for you guys. So at the bottom of the article, you'll see uh, a link there, and uh, he'll uh, he'll help you out and give you a, a good discount on, on the board. So. Uh, so Richard, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that on both counts, helping out our members and helping uh, helping everybody uh, get this at the lowest possible price. Um, as you can see here, you can see uh, that the board is actually hashing at uh, 20, 21.77 uh, gigahashes per second. Now, I do wish that that actually was the actual hashing. Um, it's actually more like this, the 2.5 gigahashes per second. Uh, inside of our miner, uh, there's something going on and i'll just be honest i'm not entirely sure what it is yet um uh, that's making this like 10x output but uh after you run it for about for about 10 hours uh it will actually be pretty similar to this uh, you can pull it up in your pool and see how it's done um uh and it will actually give you the accurate hash that it's doing um so inside of the the pool we've I guess I could pull open the pool if you guys are interested. Uh, uh, I'll do that on another video um, since we're we're just kind of checking this out pretty quick. Um, uh, but uh, we're getting about two point uh, two point five gig hashes per second on the 10, uh, 10 box or the ten course. So uh, one of the things that we ran into uh, is that. Uh, we can actually uh, get a few more cores in there and we can actually uh, uh, speed this up a bit uh, or possibly underclock it to be able to squeeze just a, a little bit more performance out of the card. Um, but we were getting a little bit of overheating issues, as you can see with the box fan on it. it and it's about 80 degrees in this room. Um, I don't have AC in the house and so uh, if I had AC in the house, and if this was done better. And also this is running uh, Gen 2 uh, X x16 um, so it's possible that running gen 3 x16 could actually increase the performance um, i don't think by a lot but it's possible um, so uh, we have some new boards that are coming that we're going to test this on also before you know giving official uh, hash rates and all that kind of stuff but uh, there is a lot of room a lot of wiggle room to be able to make this better um, but we just want to get something out uh, without having to waste a bunch of time and all that to try to get it going so um, yeah so this is about how does this compare to like a GPUs uh, for 1080 Ti I have another uh, one running in the other room here and then um, those cards are running at about a thousand uh, or one uh, giga hash per second about a thousand mega hashes per second uh, and they're running about 150 to 160 watts. Well, this card is actually running about um, uh, 50 watts to 75 watts, uh, depending on uh, just how hot it's running, um, uh, to do twice the hash rate as the 1080 Ti. So it's about four times to, uh, to six times more efficient as the 1080 Ti's. Um, and it's actually, you know, it is a profitable coin right now, which is great. Uh, we are trying to increase the ROI on this a little bit more because that's why we're doing this right. Um, as the market has been tanking, if I would have published this, you know, a week ago, I could have told you that it would have been uh, twice as uh, more profitable as it is today. But <laughs> I guess we're just publishing at, you know, uh, uh, you know, a time when the market's a little low. I do, you know, if we're doing this, we're all hoping that that's going to come back. Um, but at least in the meantime, you can start mining coins and, and uh, get it going. I want to say that you should mine about 20 coins a day. 
off of this car. Um, 20 to, yeah, probably 20 to 22 uh, Kriya coins uh, a day um, uh, running the 10 course. And then your electricity cost will be about, well, I mean, that's going to depend, right? But it's going to be uh, 50 or 75 watts times 24 watts divided by 1,000 times your kilowatt hour. Uh, dollars per kilowatt hour to be able to find out how much it's going to cost you for your uh, upfront cost. Uh, for us here, it comes out to be about about a dollar to a dollar fifty uh, a day, and uh, that's while well, the market is low right now. So it went through a little bit better as the market is, you know, as last week <laughs> as the market was a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's about it. Um, if you guys are uh, uh, interesting, go ahead and uh, contact Richard, uh, ask him for the card, and then um, you can download the Bitstream that's on our website at freelearner.how under, uh, under the article here, and uh, feel free to download it um, and just set up your pool, create your, create your wallet like you normally would in a pool uh, at your exchange or your custom wallet or whatever, and it will, it will go through and hook it up. Uh, so, yeah, hope all is well, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.